Hello friends. In previous video of boiler, we have given an overview about coal-fired boiler and some of its parts like furnace, boiler drum and their functions and importance. Now in this video, we will cover water walls, risers and downcomers, their construction, role and function. Let's discuss this one by one. First is the water wall, also known as a membrane wall. Water walls are a series of steel tubes welded together to form walls of the combustion chamber. It has typically two side walls, a rear wall, a front wall, a floor, and the roof section. It has some openings too for fixing burners and providing man ways for maintenance, observation ports and openings for camera and suit blower. The water wall creates a lining inside the entire boiler. Its complete structure looks like a room which surrounds the furnace. Water flows inside these tubes and gets heated up when heat is generated in furnace. Tubular structures increases surface area of water to be heated up and therefore increases rate of heat transfer for converting water to steam. Importance of water walls are many. First, it increases rate of heat transfer due to tubular structure. Second, it increases absorption of heat due to large extent and uh, increases combustion rate. Third, it increases steam generating capacity of boiler. Fourth, it protects refractory. And fifth, it decreases insulation cost. When water enters water walls, it gets heated up in furnace area and begins to convert partially into steam. Density of heated up water and steam is lesser than the density of water fed. This causes lighter steam water mixture to rise and the denser water to move down. Such a movement of water and steam is called thermal circulation. Now we come to downcomers. Downcomers are a group of pipes that supply water from boiler drum to distribution headers in downward direction. These pipes are largest in diameter and are located outside the boiler. This is necessary to keep the pipes away from the heat source and maintain thermal circulation of water and steam. Next we come to ring headers. Ring header is a group of headers which receives water through downcomers and supply to boiler drum through water walls or risers. There are two types of ring headers. One is bottom ring header. And the other is the top ring header. Bottom ring header receives water from downcomers through distribution headers and supplies water to the water walls. On the other hand, top ring header receives water from water walls and supplies to the boiler drum through risers. Coming to risers, these are the tubes that connect upper ring header to boiler drum and send water steam mixture to the boiler drum. To summarize this process, we can say the preheated and pre-treated water enters the boiler at economizer inlet header. From there, it goes to the boiler drum. Downcomers receive water from boiler drum and supply water to the distribution header. Then, supply tubes feed water to lower or bottom ring header. Due to the heat in furnace area, water gets heated up and converts into water and steam mixture. This water steam mixture rises through the water wall tubes and reaches the upper or top ring headers. 
From here, riser tubes carry water steam mix to the boiler drum. The water steam mixture enters boiler drum, also known as steam drum, where water and steam are separated. The upper half of the steam drum consists of many cylindrical tubes called cyclone separators. When the cyclone separator spins water steam mix in a cyclonic action, water gets separated from steam by centrifugal force. Water then falls down into the lower half of the steam drum and goes out through downcomers and begins the circulatory process all over again. Whereas steam comes out from upper half of the drum and is sent to superheaters for further heating. In our next video, we will cover mountings and accessories, so stay tuned. Thank you.